So here we're doing a hardwood floor cleaning for a regular client. Um, this is this home has been showcased uh, many times before on my channel. Um, we perform a lot of services at this home. So today we're doing a uh, hardwood floor cleaning and buffing. And so we're starting out with the uh, low boy. It's a 19-inch orbital with the... One inch thick microfiber bonnet, great for extracting and absorbing. So the orbital is much more aggressive, so we're going to get a good deep clean. And then after that, we're going to use the rotary with the red pad to kind of give it a little bit more of a buff, a little bit more of a shine, kind of a polish effect to the to the uh, cleaning. So the, or the orbital doesn't do that as well as the rotary. The rotary doesn't clean as well as the orbital in this case. So we try to keep this process as low moisture as possible. And um, I try to do that with all the uh, hard floor jobs as much as I can. Um, unless it's like concrete or VCT or tile. But... Uh, Floor is going to come out looking great. Um, on camera, you can't really see it too much, but there was like a, a party and a lot of footprints. They were barefoot, so there's a lot of footprints and uh, spills and uh, just a lot of traffic on these floors. Um, so this machine is really going to just eliminate that kind of quickly, right? Um and it's going to really give it a, you know, a nice shine. And I don't think I showed the microfiber bonnet, but you'll see uh, what the, well, you won't see it because I don't think I show it in this video. But uh, the bonnet was uh, pretty brown. And, um, you know, I, I mopped prior. I pre-vacuumed all that. So... Mopping only does, you know, it doesn't give it a deep clean. It, uh, you know, you're just uh, kind of doing a maintenance sort of thing, a routine cleaning. Um, mopping has its place, but this is when you really want to give that floor, you know, a good scrubbing, a deeper clean. This is the way to go. Uh, there are other methods you can use, but today I'm uh, really, really want to make these floors look good. Um, you know, they're having company and all that, and I really want to make them look nice. So here we, we just, we added the rotary. My van's parked in the garage, so I have easy access to uh, uh, all these machines. And this is a 17-inch rotary machine made by Koblenz. The other machine, if I didn't say it earlier in the video, is a Bissell Lowboy 19-inch machine. They no longer make those. Um, but this is a 17-inch rotary with a red pad. Uh, you could get these red pads uh, at uh, Home Depot. Uh, I know they have them at Home Depot. They have all your, your basic pads except, except the SPP pad, but they got the white pads, the um, black... Uh, white, black, green, um, just all your basic sort of pads at the uh, at 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 home, at home Depot. They don't have the maroon pad, but they got these basic ones. Or you could go on on um, uh, Amazon. They got all those kind of pads on Amazon, um, and you could uh, get the bonnet. I think the bonnet's actually from Direct Mop Sales. I get most of my bonnets from direct mop sales. Matter of fact, I think I get almost all of them from direct mop sales. And then I have uh, some from Bonnet Pro as well. Um, but, you know, since I run the Orbital and I do different types of cleaning, so I like to have a lot of different types of pads. Um, so here, very easy, making very easy work, very... Uh, very um, relaxing, just swinging back and forth. And the rotary is uh, 
just a nice machine to operate. Uh, the Bissell Low Boy, very easy on hard floor to run also. This is easier, but the Low Boy, like on wood, much it takes a little bit more muscle, but but um, very easy. Anybody can do it. And of course, I could have did used the Oric, and uh, but that would have taken longer because the Bissell, 19 inches, wheels up machine, so easy to maneuver, covers a lot of floor space. So we got done with that portion of the cleaning very quickly. So could have used the white pad, um, but I decided to go with this one. Um, this one here, I like how it, uh, I like using, I use the white pad usually, but on a job uh, not too long ago, I really liked the results with the red pad. When I didn't have uh, the white pad on me, I had it in my other van. So, um, yeah, I just didn't have them on me. You just, I ha you usually have to, I have to pack two vans sometimes. Um, my wife might drive the other one. Uh, so I didn't have it and I'm by myself here. Uh, but, but, um, the red paddle suffice. Uh, I'll just say that. Uh, so making easy work. I use neutral products both, both times. I went over the floors with a neutral product. You could technically go over this dry with a white polish pad or this pad. I could have done that. But I went with, missed it a little bit of uh, neutral cleaner. I used the Odaban neutral floor cleaner. You know, uh, did really good good work. I, I've been using the Odaban neutral floor cleaner for a long time. I've used other products too, but Odaban neutral floor cleaner is one I use a lot. I also now get that at Home Depot. I used to order it from uh, Amazon, but I just buy it at Home Depot now. So they they have it now so i just buy it from there um whenever i need it um but uh yeah these floors are going to come out you know nice uh i don't know if it'll the camera will do it justice but they come out real nice the customer is really happy whenever we do this service they, they actually ask me like oh brandon can you come and do this service da, 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 da. and i'm like yeah sure uh my pleasure you know they they always think uh they're always like hey do you have your machine on you and i was like well sometimes i just can't do it um when they ask me this one was an appointment for it um sometimes uh if i'm doing another service they'll ask if i have time to add another one but uh in total uh i would say this is about this total area is probably 1,400 square feet kitchen in the living room there. Traffic areas, eh, probably, probably about 1,000 square feet. Um, yeah, but uh, this took probably, shoot, the in total... Um, 30 minutes, 40, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, you know, after I did the vacuuming and mopping and then uh, using both of the machines. So it doesn't take very long. It's a good, if you're a house cleaner or you do carpet cleaning or even if you're a painter or pressure washing guy or something, uh, this is just cleaning in Florida, cleaning hard wood just clean i'm talking basic stuff like i'm doing uh hey that can really pay the bills it pays pretty well and pays better than carpets um the more extensive stuff the um pays even better so it's good to uh to uh expand your horizons you know and learn new things cuz um they I've seen people that that uh shoot that do those um more extensive more comprehensive uh 
type uh, floor work, you know, they're getting paid, uh, you know, really well also. And um, takes a little more time, a little more risk, sometimes a lot more risk. But, you know, you got to start somewhere. Something like this, anybody can do. Anybody can start doing this. You can just get an orc or a small machine or a machine like this and just practice. And uh, it's very easy, very easy steps. Just get used to running the machine, knowing how much solution to put on, what kind of solution, just very easy. You can learn it. And uh, if you were with me, I could show you like uh, in five minutes, you know, it's that easy. So keep that in mind that these services, uh, anybody can do, but, you know, people that tend to buy these uh, kind of services, they don't want to spend the time to do this. And. They don't want to lug around, uh, you know, uh, heavy machinery and rent it from Home Depot and all that and try to do this themselves, you know. They don't have time for it. And that's where we come in, you know. We have time and... But anyway, this job is going pretty well. Uh, And this, like I said, is the final step. And once in a while, if uh, there's some lint flying around or the place is just kind of a dusty place, I'll do a post vacuum, you know, just to make things look uh, nicer. And you can see everything came out uh, pretty good. Um, and uh, yeah, everything, everything came out very nice. So thank you for watching and take care.